Hey guys, my name is Josh. I'm gonna do a quick review on the uh, DeWalt 20 volt, dual 20 volt, 20 inch, three in one mulch cordless rear bag uh, lawnmower. Anyways, long story short, I like going on YouTube and watching videos of reviews and see what people think of their product. I saw a lot of uh, videos on the DeWalt, the DCMW220P2, the DeWalt 20 inch brushless motor lawnmower and unfortunately no one did an actual real-time cut and it comes with two five amp hour batteries 20 volts and they're saying you can cut your grass for what, 60 minutes so i have a big lot here i'm going to measure out for you guys and let you guys know how it does i'll do an actual live video i'll fast forward it through the scenes and i'll let you know my reviews on what i think of it uh, i i like gas powered lawnmowers i've always had gas powered lawnmower i have five acres here the only reason i bought this lawnmower is basically do my ditches and I'm gonna try it out and let you guys know how, how it is. Okay guys, here's the unboxing video. It's a brand new DeWalt uh, lawnmower. The only thing I did, I opened the box up. I took the two five amp hour batteries. I charged them up overnight, so they're both charged. If you see it there in the video here. So it does come with a charger. It's not a fast charger, it's a regular charger. So it will be taking a little longer to charge your batteries bag and that's it in the box Let's basically pull these pieces off here Hold your handles back, select position, fire compartments. Now they're also, a big thing for me was, is flex bolt compatible. I have flex bolts. So I'm going to use the five amp hour batteries to do this lawn cut here. They're saying 60 minutes, we'll see. There's lots of room here for your, the flex volt nine amp hours, even now the DeWalt released their 12 amp hour battery. So we'll see how it does. But other than that, it's uh, pretty good. Nice thing is I noticed when I, I watched reviews was the, tie, the wheels were on bearings. And when I went in the store, Home Depot pushed it around, it felt so much easier to push around. Just a little bonus. Steel deck, 20 inch blade. That's it. There's a bottom view right there. Hey guys, she's all charged up, ready to go. I just seen this pretty nice unit. We'll see how it performs. My lot is 15,000 square feet. There's 43,000 square feet in an acre. DeWalt states this is good for a quarter acre lot. So this is 0.3 of an acre. It's pretty good test. So basically I'm gonna park my John Deere right on with the trailer in the back over here. And basically I'm gonna use the bagger. I'm gonna keep going and I'm gonna see how far I can get on the batteries to provide. And then I have two nine amp hour batteries, flex bolts. I'm gonna chuck in afterwards to see how far after I can get with those. So I'm gonna like film the whole deal and I'm gonna fast forward it. I'm gonna time it. And you guys can see a live, or actually real time, how it performs. All right guys, don't mind the whiteness. It's the first time of the year I'm out in the sun. Um, we don't get a lot of sun, well, it's cold in Canada all the time. So anyways, uh, anyways, I got 3,000 square feet and the five amp hour batteries are dead. And I timed it, that's five minutes and 36 seconds and 3,000 square feet. Um, my grass is, yeah, it is kind of thick. It's about, I'd say five inches thick with dang lines and stuff I am using the bagger and the bag is almost full now um, yeah so here's the lawn here I did so far it's nice it's quiet but with the 5 amp hour batteries I'm not impressed at all I'm not impressed 5 minutes and this is you know Maybe my grass is a little thick, but uh, anyways, I'm gonna throw in some nine amp hour 60 volt flexible batteries 
and we'll see how she goes. Okay, so I pulled the 5 amp hour 20 volts out and they were stupid hot. So I got two 9 amp hour batteries here, full, full. So now I'm going to trim, cut the rest of this grass right here. This is probably, I'm going to guess, there are 9,000 uh, square feet of uh, grass lawn. So I have the 9 amp hour batteries, 60 volt flex volts, and so far not too bad. I'll start up now. Doesn't like thick grass when I start up. So basically you have to tilt it back a bit. It's hard to do holding the camera. So as you see, if you get loaded up pretty heavy, the bag is almost full. So yeah, this grass is pretty, pretty tall. It's pretty thick. It's uh, not too damp, but uh, yeah. Hey guys, the 9 amp hour battery is dead. I did here, it's about 5,000 5, square feet, but I'm also dealing with uh, grass that's about 6-7 inches and in lines. And basically, time-wise, from my, from my last, I got 32 minutes on the 9 amp hour, 32 minutes on 9 amp hour batteries on this thick grass. So. I'm getting about a swipe and a half and I have to empty it. Now one thing I do notice with this machine, it doesn't have the initial torque, the bond man torque. Now the way DeWalt does it, when it first starts up, it takes about a second for it to ramp up. If you have any grass loaded up inside, it will not start up. You have to lift the, the deck up, get it started up, and then do your cuts. And then it, it, it goes through that deep stuff pretty good. I'll film, I'll film this in a second now. Hey right, guys, I cleaned the deck out, empty the bag. The 9 amp hour batteries are dead now. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna swap the nine out for the original fives. The original five's been cooling off now for 30 minutes and they're both half two bar. So I'm gonna try it out and see how much more grass I can get these two batteries. Guys, this is a 10 cubic foot uh, trailer. It's filled pretty high up. Anyways, the five amp hour batteries did about, I think it was 3,000 square feet. It's not the best, but anyways, the nine amp hour did 5,000 square feet and the grass was actually pretty thick. But the main reason I bought this thing was due to the ditches. So now with my two six amp hour batteries, the flex volts, I'm gonna do the ditches and see how it does and I'll let you guys know. Right, this is the reason why I bought this thing to give it a try was my ditches are about four to five feet deep They're pretty uh, steep and I don't want to use a rylan run here and I'm gonna try this out so far It's really easy in the arms. It's not as it's very it's a lot lighter than a gas So so far I like that fact, but it's gonna be all battery at the end
Hey guys, I'm not affiliated with DeWalt whatsoever. I'm just your Joe with some property and I picked up the DeWalt lawnmower cordless because I have a lot of flexible batteries, a lot of flexible tools. I have the flexible chainsaw. I love it. I'm never going back to gas. For me personally, for my yard work, it's fine. Um, I basically bought this thing here to do the ditches. I got a five acre lot here and I have about 300 feet of ditches on both sides. So about 600 feet of ditches I have to do. Um, basically you can't do it with the lawnmower. It's a, it's a four, not four to six foot ditch, 40 foot angle. Uh, it's dangerous on a lawnmower. So anyways, I bought this thing to basically do that. Um, I cut the front lawn. I just saw in the video before. Um, DeWalt states 60 minutes runtime on a five amp hour battery. Um, maybe if they're idling with no resistance, they get 60 minutes of it. But as you saw, I cut the grass for five minutes and the grass was, yeah, a little thicker than usual, but I got five minutes and 36 seconds of a charge of battery. I pulled the batteries out. They were really warm. Like, I couldn't even hold them in my hand. I let them cool down. I put the nine, nine amp hour batteries, the flex bolt in, and I got, yeah, I was cutting some really thick grass and I was actually pretty impressed with a, a decent amount of power. Uh, a gas powered one, your average, price point like if you use a gas this was you know $500 if I were using a $500 gas mower it's pretty pretty comparable power wise I find the gas would not stall out but the thing is though I was using 9 amp hour batteries so you're talking a $500 investment plus your flexible 9 amp hour batteries which are you know 300 bucks for a set of batteries so you're at 800 bucks uh, it's a bit steep I think but the nice thing is um, the lawnmower is quiet I have my radio going beside me. I didn't need headphones or earplugs in. I was cutting the grass, listening to music. Uh, it's very light to push around the bearings. It's, it's got bearings in the wheels. Most are just a shaft with a, a plastic bu uh, plastic bushing or a, a brass bushing. Other than that, um, it's very light, easy to use. So I like that fact. When I was doing my ditches and stuff, it was easy to go up and down the ditch. One arm, one arm back and forth, no problem. I wasn't worried. I wasn't fatigued. Now, I like the high adjustment, the one arm adjustment here. It's super nice. That's easy, it's quick and fast. Uh, the bag, the bag, the bag on the back is pretty quick to get off and on. Um, yeah, now the bads. Uh, for me, the, I think the battery technology is not there yet. Well, the technology is there, but the price point. Now, I'm pretty sure if I threw in a set of 12s in here when they come out, it would do a lot better, but the problem is, they're gonna be probably $250, $300 a battery. So you're looking at $600 in batteries plus $500 in your, your lawnmower. You're at, you're over a thousand bucks for a lawnmower. I get a nice Honda for a thousand bucks. Um, so personally, the only reason, like I said, I bought is I have the Flexbolt line. So for you people that are looking at buying this lawnmower and just basically, this is gonna be your only DeWalt tool. I don't think it's a good investment for you because those five amp hour batteries can be used so much like it gives you a, the charger is a single, so basically, you cut for five minutes, you get maybe half your lawn done. You plug your batteries in, and it's gonna take two hours, two hours plus to charge your batteries. Like it's gonna be a long day cutting the grass. Where a gas lawnmower, you just keep going and done. So, I think this is a good lawnmower for a, for a homeowner that has, a, you know, a quarter acre lawn, and they want basically don't want to deal with gas. And the thing is, you have you're invested in the flex bolt line. If you're not investing in the flex bolt line, I think this is a bad it's a bad idea for you. Um, this is my first time with an electric with a cordless mower, and yeah, I'm impressed with it. But I think they still got a little more work to do on it. Now I'm gonna give it two weeks. Now my grass is gonna grow. I'm in the country, so I'm hoping within two weeks, maybe a week and a half, I'll see. I'm gonna try the try lawn again, and I'll see what kind of uh, cut I get with a five and a half hour five amp hour battery. And we'll, that'll give me a better idea to give you guys a better, more information. But me, the ditches, the ditches are really thick right now. I got about 12 inches of uh, grass. So like I said, I'm gonna give it two weeks. I'm gonna try it all again and I'll let you guys know how it fares out. But so far, um, I think I'm gonna be bringing it back and look into uh, possibly buying a gas mower that's really light. I'm gonna have to do some homework because I like that it's light, easy to use. And the, th the one thing I like about it is I can turn it on off like that. I don't need to pull start anything or you know, push push button. But anyways, that's my opinion on it. Take it for what it is. Um, comment below, like the video, and I hope this helps some people make the decision on purchasing the lawnmower. Thanks, guys.